Heat was rising at the beginning of this season. They started 24 and 8, but they're just 7 and 5 in the last 12 games. Uh, one reason for the drop off in win percentage has to do with their record in close games, though. The Heat won eight of their first nine games that were decided by five points or fewer, and since then, they're 2 and 3 with both wins coming in overtime. So, my question for you guys is what have you seen change over the last maybe 12 games for the Heat? Well, for the Heat, people have caught up to them. Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned, initially, you come into the season. And Bam is getting up 30 point triple doubles, none an undrafted rookie getting big numbers. And then all of a sudden they're on a scouting report now. And teams have done a great job of catching up to them. But for the Heat, the one thing I appreciate is that they have an identity. In this league, there are 30 teams, but not many of them have an identity. So if you want offense, you go to Denver, you go to Houston, you want defense, you go to Miami. And so because they have that, I think they'll be just fine, led by Jimmy Butler. But right now, teams have caught up to them, and I think they'll catch. I think they'll find uh, find ways to figure it out and turn it back around. Can we talk about who Jimmy Butler is doing this with? Like, <laughs> with all like with all due respect, like Duncan Robinson is a starter Made in the threes. NBA. Like he makes threes, right? Like Kendrick Nunn was on a D League team mm -hmm. last year, G League team, excuse me. Uh, Bam Adebayo is only in this you know first couple of years in the league. Those legs get heavy. You know, before All-Star break comes along. And if you think about it, if your legs automatically get heavy, I mean, imagine that when Jimmy Butler comes in town. And look, D-Wade said it the other day. I'm going to run over to the little screen. That's a nice All suit, right, yeah. D-Wade said it the other day. He said Jimmy Butler is the right kind of crazy for this team, right? The sense of urgency this team plays with is different than a lot of other teams play with in the regular season, right? Sense of urgency. As we see the play start off, you're going to see him come off a little dribble, dribble handoff. It doesn't work. Now watch. You're going to see right here, Duncan Robinson is going to jump up on the screen. He's going to try to send him down, okay? He's going to recognize that. He's going to drive. Watch the way Myers Leonard recovers. Myers Leonard, he's there. He gets in. He gets in now. Look, look at this. One in the lane. Two in the lane. Bam. He's staying on his back. He's pursuing it. A lot of players die on the screen. Myers Leonard is trying to get into play. You're going to see a kick out here. Now watch the way Bam recovers. Look at the space that Bam is able to cover here. Look at this is the space. He has to cover this amount of space. Watch him recover. He gets out, he recovers. Also, look who's in the gap. In the gap, Jimmy Butler waiting. In the paint, in the gap. Everybody's waiting for him. He gets there. Once again, ball comes off. It goes into another screen. Now, Jimmy Butler goes over the screen. Jimmy Butler doesn't quit. He comes, keeps coming on the screen. Myers Leonard stays center field. And here's something that's really tough. Look, I mean, that's a tough two. That's a tough two. This team is top five in the NBA in contested shots because Jimmy Butler does little things like that. Those are the little tough plays that they make all the time. Mindset, they're tough all the time with their discipline and the relentless pursuit of the basketball. Play comes up again. Flare into a ball screen. Now they're going to blitz it. All right? It's a bonus. They blitz it. They trap. But look at look at look who comes over from the weak side. He's recovering. He's recovering towards here. Now they have a little bit of a blunder. My man right here, he's just looking at the ball. He lost his man. His man is traveling here. But watch how Jimmy Butler recovers for him. Boom goes out. Jimmy gets out. Switch. Now watch this. Watch where Myers Leonard sprints from. He's holding the big right here to make sure that he can't get a post. Holds the big, holds the big, gets back. Now watch the cut, watch the length that Tyler Hero covers. And when he covers, he recovers the right way, guys. He recovers, forcing you towards the side, the baseline, using this as a defender. Using the sideline as a defender, also, guess who's right there, waiting for the help. Gets him into the gap, waiting for the help, leads into a turnover. That's how they push the ball again. Little things, guys, the intricacies of the game is what makes this team special. Last play, the guy to watch here, just watch the sheer effort. Versatile bigs. Watch Bam out of Bayou just work. Just work. Comes up the screen. He switches. Okay. Switch. Stays with it. Goes into another ball screen. Kelly Olenek. Center field. He's in the gap. Watch. Look, 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 at, look at this guy right here. Look at Bam. Look at where he's coming over from. Foot in the paint. Comes over. Gets out. Gets back. Recovers back. And then stops it. He's 6'9", by the way. 6'9". <coughs> Keeps a guard who's 6'2 outside the paint. Watch the work and watch the lateral quickness. Case him outside the paint, and then boom, look. Gets a tough, contested three. Here's what you love about this. This Miami Heat team leads the NBA in three-point shots allowed. Lowest percentage, 33%, because of their sheer effort in which they play. 
all the time. We talk about it, Jay Rose, a sense of urgency, right? Now, I don't know if they're a playoff team because of their sides, and I wonder how that sense of urgency and that energy, if that will be able to sustain. But I think throughout the regular season, a lot of teams don't play that hard all day. That's long. a great breakdown, but that's what I mean by an identity. Like, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how well you shoot the three. If you don't compete defensively and you don't give extra effort plays, you're not going to play. Mm -hmm. That's just how it goes when you play for the Heat. And when you break it down, if you look at it, so I say sometimes perception can become reality for some players. And you look at a guy like Jimmy Butler, who's had a lot of noise around his name throughout his career as far as his temperament. And you said it, Dwayne Wade said he's the right type of crazy. He was expecting the same effort in previous destinations Minnesota that he was in, in right? And he yeah. wanted a certain thing from the young guys who had a lot of potential. Uh -huh. And they said, what was the problem? Jimmy was the problem. He's going over here with less talent, and look what he's done with his team. He's got them second in the East. They're right there. Like, who would have thought that coming into this season? And what I think he's, he's been able to do is those guys have a, a type of basketball, a type of brand that fits him so well that he's able to get on the guys. They understand this is the way we play basketball. And everybody's just thriving. I think sometimes we forget about Drogic. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we, Myers Leonard. Myers Leonard. Myers Leonard was kind he of forgotten. himself, right? and, and Kelly Olenek, who was mm -hmm. one of those main guys on those Boston teams, Boston, mm -hmm. he's still able to knock down shots. And, and, and what's interesting is that a lot of guys that take up a lot of their salary cap, they're not even playing right Warren now. Warren Dragic. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? You, you know what I'm saying? You're looking at Deion Waiters. You're looking at uh, James Johnson. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting what Jimmy Butler's been able to do, do with this group. Bam Adebayo is next up. He's making, like, leaps and bounds, leaps and bounds. every single year. Well, I'm looking for him. They started doing those 4 a.m. workouts. I mean, he had a lot of the young guys mm -hmm. do 4 a.m. workouts. That's just a different level. And we've heard Tyler Hero say, he's like, we just follow Jimmy Butler. We, we went where he told us to go, and that's worked out for the Miami Heat so far. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+.